Hey, welcome back to Look Who's Rushing Things Now. Also, might I point out that she was previously embarrassed when we had to change. Alright, Akari. Suddenly, Shields put both his hands on her shoulders. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I made it- I made up my mind. It's you who I love. I love you, Ikari. I've always loved you. That's why I chose you to help me in this mission. <laughs> what? You mean everything you said was just a joke? Ah, well... You got me. <laughs> I... This is... Shield's face twisted as if Akari had just impaled him with her katana, which she doesn't have. Or at least I don't... I didn't know she had. <laughs> oh no, don't, don't get so serious yourself. I hope won't accept this, Ikari. You're just being cinder, aren't you? I know you actually have feelings for me. He pushed her closer and raised her chin with a finger. Oh, come on. This is the only way we can confirm our feelings for each other. He came in, lips puckered. Ikari's eyes bulged and twitched as she trembled. Just a second before their lips met, Shield stopped his approach. I guess this is enough to teach her a lesson. Ha! Ah, if she only could see the look on her face right now. Shields, you're mean. Except at that moment, Ikari leaned forward, pressing their lips together. There. <sighs> of course. What are you doing? There you go again, causing all sorts of misunderstandings, Kato. Ikari stared at Shields, tears slowly pooling up in her eyes. Oh, don't tell me. Oh. Ikari's face slowly turned the same colour as the side of a packed warship as she realised Shields was actually just franking her. She ended up falling for my prank? Right after she tried to get me with the same joke. Ikari shot up off her stool. With that, she stormed away. Hmm, great. So, in the end, she tries to act all cool and prank me, but as soon as I one up her joke, she falls for it instantly and then gets angry. This woman is truly a mess of contradictions. Hey, Akari, wait! The shields ran off after her. Hey, now is not the time for the sun act. <laughs> then what is there? Hey, you know, when Sundar screens don't follow me, isn't that pretty much a demand that I follow? Ah, oh, jeez. Why... Why are we bringing troves into this? The carry spun around and faced Shields, her face contorting with humiliation and fury. Like you can talk? You're the one who started it. One night stand? <laughs> You can barely even handle a kiss. I guess after all that, you're the real schoolgirl here. Ah, oh. oh, come on. No, come on. Oh, yeah, let's see it. Hmm.
You're stalling for time, aren't you? She's screaming that mostly for her sake. Ikari marched forward and pressed her mouth against shields, wrapping her arms around his neck. Their tongues sloshed against each other, lapping up each other's taste. She wrapped her thin lips around his tongue and sucked it deep into her mouth. She's actually not bad. The slivery warmth of her mouth relaxed his mind and made his crotch tingle. They finally disengaged, panting for breath. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you look somewhat more self-assured. Just then a third voice spoke, bringing vapid horror to Ikari's face. Ah, uh, vapid horror. Haven't heard that in a while. Ah! Uh, I, I, I. I, su I suppose she was expecting... Uh, to make out with you herself. Ah. Actually, Kriska, uh, I'm not the captain. I'm the new KO Shields. Haven't you heard? <laughs> yes, yes. Um, move on. Good day. Oh. Oh, man. And what a sudden 180 degree change in opinion! <sighs> well, y you can still do both. No. <sighs> <laughs> C come on, that's mean. That you know her well. You should know her well. Oh no! Please no, no, not you. They don't look so smug. And why are we already getting married? No, ah. Ikari stared on, her face devoid of life. Shields waved his hand in front of her. Oi, you alright? She could only twitch as she emitted hollow laughs. Oh boy, news is gonna spread fast thanks to Kriska, I guess. While Shields had momentarily caught a respite, thanks to his actions, he had no idea that his biggest crisis was still yet to come. Shortly after spending time with Ikari, he received a summons to the bridge. Ah, both of them. He arrived to see the tense faces of the command crew. What happened? Ah, Chigara's escaped. We don't know how, but she managed to open her cell. Ah, oh, jeez. And security. Eight marines all in serious condition when a nearby conduit blew. Obviously not a coincidence. I've already got security turning the ship inside out to find her, but she somehow managed to manipulate all our cameras too. It took us a good half hour until we realized that the footage was fake. We're up against a prototype here. Her brain's been artificially augmented to perform feats beyond our imagination. Her objective's got to be escape. We need to disassemble the Liberty now. And that won't be enough. We'll start by removing the fusion reactor, and then take off all the limbs. Ah, could have used it during the battle. To think we have to take apart our own rider. 
Without a pilot, there's no point in keeping it. We need to avoid the worst case scenario of having it being used against us. <sighs> Do what he says, Commander. You have authorization to remove the past Liberty the Liberties reactor. Do it immediately. Just dissembling the Liberty won't be enough though. She could still escape on a shuttle or a life pod, or any of the other riders. Still plenty of holes in the plan, huh? Everyone's anxiety peaked when the ship's alarm went off. Ah, oh, what now? Ah, uh, red alert. It ceased the resupply operations and manned battle stations. Oh, man. How did they get past the Alliance's defensive line? Yep, that's them, all right. Uh, single packed rider. That can only be one thing. Shield still vividly remembered the grotesque power of the Nightmare Ascendant. In the previous timeline, they had only just barely defeated it thanks to the power of the combined fleet and Fontana's forces. But this time, the conditions of the battle were completely different. Instead of fighting in the front lines with the full support of the Alliance, they now faced the Nightmare Ascendant in an ambush. Further, Fontana's fleet was still not operational. It's the Nightmare Ascendant, an ancient Ryuvian rider now controlled by the leader of the prototypes. On top of overwhelming firepower and defenses, the prototype leader can somehow just awaken, like Asuka and Sola, making it nigh invincible. And you say you defeated it in your timeline? Uh, yeah, but only with the help of the combined fleet and Fontana's allied forces. That sounds like you were playing on easy mode when you went through this. <laughs> Damn it. The other shields turn towards the tactical map. We should have seen this ambush coming. With their supply, with their spy on board the Sunrider exposed, and Fontana onto their sabotage effort, the prototype's best bet is to kill us all before Fontana's ship enters the, into the play. That means you've already thought of a plan, right? Right? Because you always think of plans when I'm not looking, right? Unfortunately, our counter tactics are limited. The Sunrider still hasn't completed its resupply, and the Liberty is out of commission. Even knowing the ambush was going to occur, our only option was to meet it head on. Put Fontana on the line. Oh man, come on, you can hold out for just an hour, can't you? <sighs> we don't have an hour, Fontana. I don't care if you leave half your ships behind. Get your forces in order and assist us with whatever you can muster. Alright, no choice. After Shields cut the channel with Fontana, Asuka's voice crackled through the comm. Good. Begin story immediately. The map filling up with red all around us. Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Watch out for the new packed rider, a Tarzik Nation Ascendant. It's lost technology and its pilot can awaken just like you. <laughs> Suddenly, the roaring of a rider's thrusters peaks the comms output. What? Ah, she must have hacked the riders too. They closed the hangar gate. Shields tore himself from the tactical map and ran towards the hangar. Where are you going? No point in having two KO shields on the bridge. I'm leaving the battle to you. You're still the captain of this ship. I'm going to stop Jigara. Alright. Good luck.
partner. Yeah, good luck. Wow, this is Resident Evil now. With that, Shields entered the lift and went down to deck two. Shields entered the hangar to see the deck crew desperately trying to keep the blackjack from launching. They had somehow managed to attach a ceiling-mounted electromagnetic clamp onto one of the shoulder particle guns, with a spare rifle jammed the launch rail. Ah, I know, get back! The blackjack leaned down and fired its engine, sending the crew scattering in every direction. The hangar groaned as the ceiling superstructure holding the clamp slowly bent against the blackjack. Asuka arrived on a buggy. Yeah, you don't say. Come on, we've got to figure out a way to keep Chigara from escaping with your ride. The ship's flak guns echoed throughout the hangar. The ship shook as a missile impacted, sending shields to the floor. Ah, as if that wasn't enough. Looks like the battle's begun. Steel groaned overhead. The shields looked up just in time to see the steel supports holding the clamp finally give out. But watch out! He dived on top of Asuka as steel and concrete rained around them. Luckily, the debris fell a short distance away, covering both of them in dust, but not causing any injuries. Finally loose, the blackjack hit its thrusters and flew across the hangar. No, oh, it's gonna get away! At the last second, the paladin stepped out of its maintenance bay and blocked the exit. <sighs> nice job, Kriska! The blackjack stopped and drew its assault rifle. No! He grabbed Asuka by the elbow and sprinted for cover. The blackjack unleashed a torrent of bullets inside the hangar, sending shrapnel ricocheting throughout the hangar. You said hangar in the same sentence again. <sighs> An unlucky crewman took a brick-sized fragment to the shoulder, cleaving a foot long opening down his chest. Instantly killed, his body sprayed blood as it fell to the ground. Shield suppressed his nausea as shrapnel bounced all around him. The Paladin, unaffected by the small calibre fire thanks to its armour, shot forward and collided with the Blackjack. The two steel behemoths struggled against each other, like two enormous sumo warriors. The Blackjack opened its missile pods. Oh no, not in here, not in here! If it fires off its missiles here, the whole ship's gonna blow. Just then, the Phoenix shot forth, katana drawn. The Blackjack shot its reverse thrusters, narrowly avoiding getting cleaved in half. It spun its pulse gun into sword mode and activated its laser beam. <laughs> now your skill will truly be tested. The Blackjack hit its wing thrusters, boosting forward. The Phoenix nimbly moved out of the way, ascending the Blackjack crashing into a maintenance bay. The shields braced his head against the cacophony of collapsing steel. The Blackjack turned around and swiped its laser beam, but the Phoenix once again proved too fast, spinning out of the way. The Phoenix shot upwards, skimming against the ceiling, and came down the powerful Helm Crusher. The Blackjack deflected the Phoenix's katana with its black iron blade. Only iron? <laughs> well, black iron. The Phoenix ducked as the Blackjack's beam sword slashed laterally, cutting through another maintenance bay. Its beam sword still moving on its own momentum, and its black iron sword too heavy to raise in time, the Phoenix shot forward and deftly dug its sword into the Blackjack's shoulder. Shields grabbed a handheld microphone. Ikari, the missile pods! Just as Ikari realised the Blackjack could destroy the entire ship at any moment, the Blackjack tumbled to the floor. Shield saw the Bianca approaching it, its grav gun active. Oh, please tell me you've got this for once, Claude. Truly. Pull the reactor out. 
Just then, Shields realized he had made a huge mistake. Wait a minute. Interest Claude with pulling out a highly explosive fusion reactor with a grav gun? And before Shields could retract his order, sparks flew from the back of the blackjack as its reactor was torn out. He squeezed his eyes shut and pressed himself flat on the floor, expe expecting the worst. Miraculously, when he slowly opened his eyes, the reactor was safely on the floor, and everyone was still active. The flight crew flooded the hangar to contain the situation. With a breath of relief, he ran towards the now deactivated blackjack as well. Alright everyone, don't open the cockpit until ship security arrives, and put the reactor into cold sleep. <laughs> Looks like its arm's gonna have to be replaced with a spare, and it also needs a new reactor, but it's nothing we can't handle. Everyone else, you're needed outside. A sortie and protect the ship. With most of the hangar destroyed, the remaining riders have no choice but to slowly file out of the gate instead of using the linear rail. Meanwhile, the other Kato Shields was caught in the middle of another life or death struggle. Ah, oh, not the torpedoes. Shields looked at the tactical map. The bulk of the combined fleet was still tied up with the main packed fleet. Roughly a hundred Alliance cruisers and two dozen battleships were stationed at the resupply line. But more than half of them were already damaged the prior day and locked down for repairs or in the middle of resupply operations. Meaning he was both hopelessly outnumbered and outgunned. Fire ventral thrusters. Sunrider shook as it descended, coming alongside a trio of Alliance cruisers. They won't be firing their main guns, but their flat guns should still be operational. Three at once! The Sunrider's flat guns burst around the ship, lighting the black void of space up with a million explosions. Come on, come on! He exhaled when the flat guns on the cruisers activated, adding to the Sunrider's wall of fire. The nose of the forward torpedo fragmented as it entered the flak shield and spun wildly before being pulled apart by the G-forces. One down. The second torpedo stubbornly continued through the vortex of explosions, sprayed with shrapnel but still not losing structural integrity. Sweat poured down Shield's forehead. All he could do was pray. Finally, the torpedo gave way to the relentless assault of shrapnel, splintering into a million shreds. But Shield's luck had run out. The final torpedo survived the flak and headed on a direct course for the Sunrider's tower. Yeah, that's happened before. All hands. Shields gripped the table as the shield as the bridge shook. Not the shields. <laughs> uh. Oh man, not uh, not the other sections this time, huh? The packed battleships were still too far away for the Sunrider to engage. Their missiles would be instantly shot down by flak, while their lasers were useless against the enemy's shields. Where are our riders? And just then, the phoenix shot out from the mouth of the ship. <laughs> the rest of the riders flew out one by one. What about the blackjack? Outnumbered, and now lacking both the Liberty and the Blackjack. Shields racked his head for a strategy. Well, hey, at least the uh, Bianca isn't going to get destroyed this mission. Hmm. 
Crimson beams of light shot from the battleships, burning trails of fire across the hull of the Sunrider. The shields hung on as the bridge swayed. He heard the groaning of steel as the ship's structural latticework melted away. As our limited shields were toast. More lasers cut through the ship. A console burst, fleeing a crewman to the ground with facial burns. Ah, jeez, those poor crewmen at the consoles. Is this the end? Just then, the space around the battleships distorted. A battle group of 50 packed fast cruisers emerged from the warp. Satisfying. The daggers dropped down above the battleships and loosed kinetic round after kinetic round as they dived towards the enemy's huge profile. The battleships attempted to return fire, but from the front the fast cruisers were hardly larger than corvettes. The battleship's rounds shot past as fire rained down from above. Shield sighed in relief as the battleships fragmented from the relentless hailstorm of steel. I never thought I'd actually be glad to see your face, Fontana. Without a moon's break, Ava turns to shields. There we go. The Nightmare Ascendant appeared before the Sunrider, its wings proudly outstretched. So you're the enemy leader I've heard so much about. <laughs> you're welcome. Oh man, a swarm of prototypes units launched from packed carriers. Ah, uh, here we go again. I hope the fleet fares a little better this time. The Ascendant's wing flyers detached and darted towards the Sunrider. Phoenix opened fire and sprayed the flyers with assault rounds, but they nimbly flew out of the Phoenix's firing arc. And two flyers circled around and shot forth spears of light. The Phoenix fired two of its wing thrusters, narrowly dodging the beams in a high G corkscrew. <laughs> Providence awaits. Sola's right eye ignited as she has wakened. The movement of the drone suddenly slowed to Sola's senses as if they were swimming underwater. But focusing on her target, she lined up a shot and fed the Seraphim's rifle with power. A flash later, Sola's shot tore a hole in the drone's midsection before erupting it into fireball. The other drone spun around and came at the Phoenix for another pass, but this time Mikari was prepared. She stepped on her foot pedals, feeding maximum energy to the engines. The Phoenix shot forward on an intercept vector for the drone. Now the tables have turned! With near inhuman finesse, the Phoenix shot past the drone, katana drawn, and sliced it from front to end. The rear of Akari's cockpit illuminated as the drone exploded behind her. And before Akari could celebrate, a dark shadow stretched across her rider. She spun out of the way seconds before the Ascendant descended upon the Phoenix and cleaved it apart with its great sword. Wow, I can't even imagine the Ascendant descending. <laughs> you tell him. The Ascendant swaggered towards the Phoenix, sword raised above his head. Swaggered, did it. The Kari barely managed to block the Ascendant's blade in time. Despite its titanic size, the Ascendant moved quick as a viper. Here we have that victory fanfare again. Oh man. Hopefully someone will step in to help you then. 
The Ascendant merely shoved the Phoenix out of the way. With another mighty downward strike, the Phoenix's katana shattered into a million pieces. Ikari fired her wing thrusters in a panic, but her moment of carelessness allowed a drone to line up a shot. The beam tore through one of the Phoenix's wing thrusters, sending it spiraling out of control. Oh no, no, not this again! No! Ah, come on. Shoot it, shoot it. Solar rain down shots. Alice's eyes ignited blue as she awakened and deflected the bullets with two swings of the great sword. The tip of Ascendant's particle gun glowed red as it let forth the scarlet lance cutting into the Seraphim's leg and slicing apart its scanner dish. Sola, are you alright? Ah, gah, this is not going good. Oh boy, it's up to Kriska and... and Claude. And possibly a bit of Asuga. Well, no. If she... if... She, ah boy, I sure hope she manages to get a spare soon, just in time. The paladin banged its rifle against its shield and moved in to cover the two riders escaped. Its rear cannons rotated forward and shot high density black iron towards the ascendant. <laughs> Useless! The Ascendant fired one of its knee thrusters, corkscrewing towards the Paladin. All of the Paladin's missile pods opened, sending streams of smoke spiralling outwards. The Ascendant nimbly dodged through the missiles. The missiles which did impact put nary a scratch on the Ancient Rider's frame. At that moment, the Bianca used its gravity gun to immobilise the Ascendant. Yes! I knew you would do something! <laughs> the Paladin unloaded all of its munitions into the Ascendant at point-blank range. Smoke and fire enveloped the Ascendant as if it received volley after volley of cannon fire, a swarm of missiles, and even a stream of assault rounds for good measure. Ah, uh, yeah. Kriska's blood went cold when she sensed movement behind her. Ah, oh, you've got to be choking. Ah, oh. Alice licked her lip as the Ascendant struck from the Paladin's blind spot. Somehow, it had managed to escape from the Bianca's gravity well and circle around the Paladin. The Paladin barely deflected the Ascendant sword with its ablative shield. The Paladin's entire arm bent from the strike, sending sparks flying from its joint. Just as the Ascendant was about to deliver the coup de gras, I don't even know how to pronounce that anymore, a cross guard of laser and steel blocked its sword from reaching the Paladin. Yes, just in time, just in time. Asuka hit the reverse thrusters moments before the Ascendant overpowered its defences. The Blackjack whirled out of the way as the Ascendant fired its particle gun. Its remaining drones spiralled towards the Blackjack like hounds onto prey. In a flurry of pulse bolts, Asuka took two more of the drones out before ducking and weaving through a cobweb of lasers. Spinning in a wild dance, it shot a stream of particles from his shoulder guns, cutting a third drone through. The tip of the particle guns began to char black and rapidly overheat. Ah, of course. All of the blackjack's movement fell jerky like a wild bull. One false move could cause the blackjack to spiral out of control, or worse, cause the thruster to burst. 
but for some reason Asuka's face broke into the grin. Oh dear. She slammed down her foot pedals, sending the blackjack forward with explosive speed. Asuka clenched her teeth as she was plastered against her seat. The Ascendant raised its sword high and shot forward as well. Shields put his hand together in prayer as he saw the two streaks of light closing on each other on the bridge. Asuka, please come back alive. The two warriors' eyes burned with Asia fire as they accelerated towards destiny. In an infinite instant, the two riders crossed with each other, their swords moving quicker than what the universe could accept. The space-time continuum riveled as the swords tore through the universe's laws. The blackjack's joints gave out, causing explosions throughout the rider. Sparks of electricity ran through its frame. Asuka's cockpit burst, impaling her with shrapnel. Blood dripped down her face. She looked down in disbelief to see a thin steel rod sticking out from her belly. Suddenly, the pain struck her all at once. She collapsed in, ag she collapsed in agony, her eyes losing focus. Ah, I'm so sorry. The Ascendant approached the blackjack and grabbed it by its head, completely untouched. Not even a scratch. What a cheater. Asuka looked up, blood dripping down her mouth, the fire in her eyes extinguished. Hooray for learning lessons! Alice's eyes changed. She looked down coldly upon Asuka, like a disappointed matron about to punish her young daughter. At that moment, Alice snapped back to attention. About time. <laughs> I'm so glad to see him alive, you know. <sighs> A fleet of fresh packed assault carriers appeared from behind Sarah's moon. Yes. Shields pumped the air, unable to contain his joy. 
His future self's gambit had worked. Even without Chigara's help, they had managed to restore Fontana's fleet. I'm afraid so, Admiral. Not only that, but his pilot's also the spitting image of my ex-girlfriend. Kind of gives me the creeps. <laughs> oh, Admiral. The Ascendant hit its thrusters, but the renewed stream of firepower was too thick to dodge. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, what? What about Asuka? The Bianca used the moment to shoot tow cables at the Blackjack and fall back towards the Sunrider. Nice job. No matter how many times, this never gets old. I like how she had time to utter a ch. The Nightmare Ascendant was completely enveloped in fire as ships struck it from every direction. With the unexpected entry of Fontana's fleet, the tide of the battle had reversed. Everywhere around Alice, her ships lit on fire and broke apart against the onslaught of Fontana's assault carriers and advanced riders. At this rate, they would be completely annihilated. There, there. The perfect plan is not one that has no flaws, but one that can adapt to any given trouble. With the remaining energy remaining in the Ascendant, you did it again! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Alice spun her rider around. What the...? The flaming hulk of the Ascendant emerged from the Vanguard's beam and shot towards the Sunrider. Ah! Oh, a fire! The Sunrider unloaded everything in its arsenal against the flaming comet streaking towards the ship, but it was too late. Ava threw herself on top of shields. The two pressed themselves against the ground as the entire ship stumbled from the force of the collision. The hull around the bridge bent, sparks exploding from every direction as power cords snapped. A vapor shot out and covered the bridge as pipes shattered from the force of the impact. Instruments hidden inside the walls blew in fireballs, ascending wall panels flying. The crew burst open the emergency lockers and grabbed fire extinguishers to combat the flames. A report! Order engineering to fix the reactor double time! Oh no. I know, not this again. What? Security footage of the Ascendant's cockpit opening and Alice entering the twisted hull of the ship inside an environmental suit appeared on the main screen. Oh, she's heading straight to engineering. Alert security, stop her! Meanwhile, the future Kato shields pushed through the burning corridor to get to engineering. The injured and dead were strewed throughout the floor, but he had no choice but to march on and complete his mission. 
If the prototype gets to our reactor core, then it's game over. <sighs> he finally arrived at the burning engineering hall. The vapor streamed out from over a dozen broken pipes and flames licked at the walls. At his feet were the bullet-ridden bodies of half a dozen marines. Ah, oh, damn. I was too late. He ducked for cover seconds before a stream of bullets riddled his position. Alice's voice echoed through engineering. The surrender prototype. You should know that you die if the original timeline is restored. And this is for your own good too. <laughs> then die already! Alice opened fire once more, pinning shields down. <sighs> he drew his pistol. Gauging from the sound of her weapon, shield surmised that she had commandeered one of the marines' rifles. In other words, he was outmatched in terms of firepower. But she's still wearing nothing but a plug suit. All it'll take is one good shot to bring her down. Now if only I can figure out where she's hiding. Shields kept talking, trying to use the prototype's voice to discern her position. Your fleet's defeated, and Fontana has control of Pact now. What do you have to gain by triggering total war between the Alliance and Fontana's forces? All that will happen is the destruction of all that you've worked for. Good, and keep talking. She's over there! Shields popped from cover and unloaded his pistol into a shadowy catwalk. Sparks flew as the already damaged supports fell apart, bringing the elevated path crashing down onto a slope. Alice rolled down the collapsed catwalk, losing her grasp on her rifle. Shields used the opportunity to charge at her position. He aimed his pistol and pulled the trigger, but received a feeble click. Out of ammo. In frustration, he tossed the pistol aside and bull rushed into Alice's gut just as she got back to her feet. Unexpectedly, excruciating pain shot down his spine. Ah! He ran head first into what felt like solid steel. He looked up just in time to see an energy barrier flicker in front of Alice. Ah. Shields mustered his strength and delivered a round of punches into Alice's chest, but his fists bounced off the energy field surrounding Alice. With a single backhand, Alice knocked Shields down to the floor, driving an explosion of blue sparks to his jaws. Shields spat blood from his mouth. Gah. Ah. Alice stepped on his prone body, sparks of energy shot from her heel as it dug into Shield's ribs. Ah! His shields could only howl helplessly as his fresh seared off. He desperately looked into the Sunrider's reactor. Steam was pouring from its sides as the remaining coolant rapidly evaporated. If he did not defeat Alice within minutes, the reactor would melt down and completely destroy the entire ship. If he did not defeat Alice within minutes... Oh, sorry, I already read that part. <laughs> I've been taking breaks every few minutes to make sure that I can properly read all the uh, words. Uh, you're insane! You're really obsessed with me. The reactor's side panel burst in an explosion of vapor ruffling Alice's hair. Ah, uh, only ruffled, huh? Ah! Uh. 
Aha. <laughs> Who's the road cheer? Yeah. <sighs> Well, considering this, it takes place in a universe where humanity has apparently subjugated all life. Sheesh. But you're no better. You're just projecting now. No, even then, heroes must be born. The masses may turn against us, but within that crowd, there will always be ones who cheer us on. When this happens, with the final reserves of his strength, Shields delivered a kick to Alice's gut, knocking her off balance. He shoved her off and rolled to his feet. Alice drew her saber and came at him. <laughs> Who has the death wish here? Before she could reach him, Ikari charged into engineering. A katana in one hand and a wakazashi in the other. Oh boy, so it's true, huh? <laughs> she flipped into the air and met Alice's blade with her own. Alice readied her saber as the two women circled each other. Quicker than lightning, Alice jabbed her blade forward. Ikari nimbly backed away, then stepped forward with a powerful sweep of her katana in an attempt to break Alice's center. While lacking power, Alice's slender blade proved too quick. Alice charged forward as Ikari went hot. Ikari's katana went wide and brought her blade down on Ikari's head. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ikari barely deflected her attack in time with her shorter blade, then used the momentum of her katana to spin in a whirlwind. <laughs> Alice held her blade to the side as their steel edges met, sending sparks flying. Be careful, she's shielded! Ikari eyed Alice's rifle resting on the ground. Whoever grabbed the rifle first would gain a decisive advantage. Alice went on the offensive, using her blade's speed to attack in a flurry. Ikari blocked each of her blades dancing in front of her. She spun, her ponytail flying behind her, and cut her wakazashi across where Alice's neck would have been as she knocked ducked down in time. <laughs> I gotta hand it to them. At least the fight sequences are rather detailed in this section. Uh, Alice charged forward and swept her sword across Ikari's eyes. Ikari barely managed to pull back in time, the blade cutting across the tip of her nose. Ikari tossed her wakazashi like a throwing dagger at Alice. The knife darted for Alice quicker than shields I could track, but Alice still somehow managed to deflect it with her blade. Ikari used the momentary distraction to charge, both hands wrapped around her katana. In a renewed fury of attacks, Ikari pushed Alice back with a final mighty downward smash. Alice staggered backwards against the wall. While Alice's attention was diverted, Shields had grabbed a hold of her rifle. She, uh, he unleashed the rifle's entire clip against Alice the moment Ikari rolled out the way. Sparks flew from her personal shield as bullets ricocheted in every direction. And did we get her? Alice's shields flickered as if deactivating, then restored itself. Ah, come on! This is an unfair boss. The shields ran towards the downed marines in search of a second clip, but Alice leapt forward and blocked his path. 
Hikari brought her katana down on her head but was deflected by Alice. With a swift lateral swipe, Alice slashed Hikari across her chest. Hikari stepped backwards, clutching her wound. While it wasn't deep, it would be a handicap in an already desperate match. Exploiting Hikari's loss of balance, Alice smashed the hilt of her blade against her head. Ah, oh, Hikari! <laughs> the shields rummaged through the bodies of the marines, desperately trying to find ammo. He exhaled when he found a spare clip of ammo in a fallen marine's pouch. He locked and loaded and turned only to come face to face with Alice. With an upwards kick, she sent his aim wide. Shields twisted out of the way as her blade shot towards him, but it was too late. Agony shot through his shoulder as Alice sank her saber through his flesh. He fell to his knees, losing his grip on his rifle. Ah! She pulled the blade out and prepared to deliver the, the final blow. With the last of her strength, Ikari slammed her blade down on Alice's back, but now lacked the strength to cut through her barrier. In a massive explosion, Ikari went flying backwards as Alice's barrier repelled her, sending her katana clattering against the floor. Ikari panted in exhaustion, <sighs> blood seeping down her chest. Suddenly, gunshots ran from across engineering. <laughs> yes! Thank you! <laughs> so dependable. Kriska appeared with a rifle and laid down fire from above. How does she get back here so quickly? Did... Did everyone else finish off the rest of the fleet? As the shields began to flicker once more as bullets bounced off, Shield struggled to his feet and went for his rifle, only to have it snatched from his hand. Alice took aim and sprayed fire on Kriska's position. Kriska dropped prone as bullets ricocheted around her. The catwalk collapsed under the fire, sending Kriska tumbling to the floor. Kriska rolled up, and with a final shot, Alice's shields finally flickered out. <sighs> Come on, one more, one more will do it. But her weapon clicked. She had already expended all her ammo laying down suppressive fire. Alice unleashed her remaining rounds on Kriska, tearing her uniform apart. Kriska dropped to the floor. Her final mission complete. Oh no! Oh. Hikari pushed herself up and rushed for Alice in blind fury, but was kicked down. Alice's chest heaved with exhaustion as she stood triumphantly over Ikari. Alice dropped her now empty rifle and drew her saber. You've... Shields brought down a pipe on Alice's head, sending her saber clattering to the floor. Really gotta cut down on the speeches! Well, you're one to talk, Kato. Now, without the protection of her shields, blood dripped down her skull. The two of them struggled as shields dragged her towards the flaming hot reactor core. Ch Shield squeezed his eyes shut. He would drop Alice into the reactor shaft, even if he had to fall off with her himself. This would be the only way he could finally defeat Alice and save the future. If his life was the price to pay to save everyone, then he would gladly sacrifice himself. We're getting Valkyria Chronicles on this. Once this is all over, the timeline's going to be fixed anyway. I'll just return to being the ship's captain. So it's no big loss. Behind him, Ikari raised her hand and gasped desperately as shields lifted Alice off her feet. I'm sorry, Ikari, but I'll see you in the next universe. Hiya!
The reactor burst into a column of blue flame behind them. The outer panel was melting away in the extreme heat. This would be their funeral pyre. The two of them arrived at the edge of the shaft. Beyond the safety rail was a sheer drop into a furnace of hellfire. He gritted his teeth and took another step into the sea of fire. His arms wrapped around Alice. This would be the end. Sorry about this, but... Suddenly excruciating pain cut through his back. Ah! Shields dropped to his knees in disbelief. What? <sighs> his consciousness began to slip away as he realised there was now a combat dagger stuck to his back. You! Chikara! Alice roared triumphantly. She pounded her chest. Gah. Impossible. Shields clapped to the floor when Chigara violently pulled the dagger from his back, tearing out muscle and blood. He saw Chigara's empty face hovering above him. That's not Chikara's face. She used to smile so gently. Chikara. A wicked grin slashed apart Chikara's get face as she thrusted the dagger downwards. Shields opened his eyes and realised that Chigara's other arm had stopped the arm holding the dagger from penetrating his chest. For but a flicker, lucidity returned to her eyes. Shields tore the dagger from Chigara's hand and dug it into Alice's gut with all his might. Alice's face froze in shock as Shields repeatedly jabbed the dagger into her belly, forming a dozen new slots into her womb. Wah. I think it's time you died a second time. With that, he kicked her down the Sunrider's reactor shaft. For a second, Alice floated in midair. The second passed, and Alice fell down the shaft. Chigara covered Shield's body as Alice's body erupted in an enormous pillar of fire. The stench of burning flesh filled the room. Chigara, the reactor. Chigara scrambled to the controls and furiously imported commands. Streams of foam shot from every direction, lathing the entire reactor in coolant. Flames around the reactor hissed and eventually fizzled out. And... Phew! At last, she's finally gone! <sighs> you can breathe now. I certainly am. Ah, all right. Well, that was that was a long one. I didn't want to uh, stop until until the current crisis had been averted. But hopefully, that's the last thing we have to deal with in our path. So next time, everyone. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, Chris, <laughs> please, please, our medical science must be advanced enough to save her, please. That's next time, everyone. Bye for now.